idioventricular rhythm is a form of heart rhythm originating from the ventricles. It is recognized in the ECG by a wide QRS complex and absence of preceding P waves. Dissociated P waves may be seen sometimes. Usually the rate in idioventricular rhythm is low of the order of 20 to 40 beats per minute. Idioventricular rhythm occurs either when the dominant pacemaker of the heart is not functioning or when the impulses from the sinus node are blocked at the AV node or below. Treatment depends on whether it has occurred transiently or as a permanent rhythm. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Since it is not a stable rhythm, the heart rate has to be stabilized by pacemaker implantation if the rhythm is persistent. Artificial pacemaker is usually implanted under the skin, over the chest and the leads are introduced into the heart through a vein. Artificial pacemaker gives electrical pulses to stimulate the heart whenever it is needed. Temporary pacemaker can be used when the idioventricular rhythm has occurred due to a reversible cause as in myocardial infarction. Idioventricular rhythm can also be accelerated for a short period using isoprenalin infusion which accelerates the ventricular rhythm. But the efficacy of isoprenalin infusion is limited and it can sometimes cause more serious disturbances in the heart rhythm. Transcutaneous pacer or non-invasive external pacemaker can be used if the situation is urgent in order to tide over the situation and buy time while shifting the person for temporary transvenous pacing. An important point to be remembered is not to suppress idioventricular rhythm with drugs as it may lead to undue bradycardia. Accelerated idioventricular rhythm is a ventricular rhythm originating from the bundle of his, the Purkini system or the ventricular myocytes. It can be diagnosed when three or more ventricular ectopic beats occur consecutively at a rate more than the usual idioventricular rhythm which has a rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute. ECG showing accelerated idioventricular rhythm at around 100 per minute. Dissociated P waves are seen marked by red arrows. Some variation in QRS morphology seen in the rhythm strip could be due to fusion beats. The rate of AIVR is usually similar to that of the underlying sinus rhythm which it supersedes. There can be features of AV dissociation like fusion beats or capture beats. AIVR is often well tolerated and seldom needs any specific treatment. It can be overridden by accelerating the sinus rhythm with atropine. AIVR is a classical reperfusion arrhythmia which occurs during thrombolysis of acute myocardial infarction. It has also been called slow ventricular tachycardia. Occurrence of AIVR prior to thrombolytic therapy in an acute MI is sometimes considered as a marker of spontaneous thrombolysis though it cannot be taken as a specific sign. AIVR can also occur after successful reperfusion by percutaneous coronary intervention. Though AIVR is usually asymptomatic, occasionally it can cause near syncope due to loss of atrial booster function as a result of AV dyssynchrony. AIVR has been associated with drugs like halothane, desflurane, cocaine and digitalis. Idiopathic AIVR originating from the right bundle branch has been described as an unusual type of ventricular arrhythmia. Two of their eight patients had syncope and three had left ventricular dysfunction. Metoprolol was useful in decelerating the arrhythmia and relieving symptoms. Five patients underwent electrophysiological study and catheter ablation. Right bundle branch block morphology was noted in sinus rhythm after ablation. Left ventricular function normalized after ablation and symptoms were controlled. Here are some relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.